Hey guys, how is everyone doing? My name, wow, my name is Underclunder95 and welcome back to my workplace. Um, welcome back, welcome not. So what is going on you guys? I got something cool to show you guys here. So welcome back to another episode of Exploring the Madness. Let me see if I can use these boxes to hold my phone up a little bit. There you go. So, I got something cool to show y'all. I found this, there you go, you guys can see the water in it too. So I found this bowl, okay? So this is really cool. I found this bowl at the dollar store, I apologize. I found this bowl at the dollar store and it's really cool. It is a rapid mac and cheese cooker. Now, I, now, if you guys don't know, I love mac and cheese. It's my favorite go-to snack. Um, and I'm just, it's, I'm gonna read this out to you guys, and then we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna make some, we're gonna make some mac and cheese. It says that it could um, rapid mac cooker features. No need to use the stove or pots again. Cook in five minutes versus twenty minutes on the stove. It's dishwasher, dishwasher safe. Cooks perfectly every time, BPA free and reusable. That's the world's fastest and easiest way to cook mac and cheese. It says it cooks a box of mac and cheese in the microwave in five minutes versus 20. We said that again. Rapid brands, more great products, rapid brownie maker, rapid rice cooker, rapid oatmeal cooker, and rapid ramen cooker. Well, I, bet I could probably just put some ramen in here. We'll have to try it. Also great for shells and cheese, character shapes, ravioli, home, dorm, and office. Um, and it gives the instructions. So we have the water in it. It's a little bit, a little bit more past the full line because I know that water just it, water evaporates. Uh, microwave for two minutes and thirty seconds. We're gonna do three minutes. So I have somewhere. Uh, here we go. Okay, so I have my store brand mac and cheese. This is exciting to me because, I mean, you see something cool like this and you're like, oh, I gotta try it. I gotta try it. So, yeah, we're gonna pour a mac and cheese in there. Should be, should be simple enough. I have a spoon and everything with me. Should be just as simple as stove mac and cheese. Get it stove mac and cheese. So we're gonna pour that baby in there. And we're going to, uh, I'm going to cook her in there for three minutes. So stay tuned, guys. This microwave is a industrial type of microwave, too, so that's really nice. Oh, by the way, um, if I get to it tonight, if I don't, I apologize. I'll do with that review of Kraft Mac and Cheese that one of you guys wanted to see. So... I think I've tried Kraft. I think I think I've tried that brand before. I think I've tried a couple different brands. Um, but the fact that uh, the fact that you know there's there's new ways of making things. It's that's amazing. Over one mil, over one million of these sold as well, which is kind of cool actually. So let's see. So after uh, we filled it to our line, we put our mac in, and we're cooking it, and we're going to stir thoroughly, and then microwave one more for two minutes. Probably stir for, or I'll probably, probably put it in there for another three minutes. So it, it, it cooks about the same time as ramen is supposed to cook, I guess you can say, um, three, three, or four, three, four minutes. Throw my trash in here. So I mean, you know, and it's funny to find, or it's it's funny to see new things like this develop because I mean, I'm not really I'm not really a person that really likes change, but you know, you, you adapt to things, and I, I understand that. Right, we've got about a minute left. This is this is exciting to me. This is very exciting. 
I never got to. This this is this is this is new to me. This is this is just wow, you know. So you know, I, you know, one thing that I've learned in the past about cooking any 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 mac and mac and cheese. I mean, well, it's got it's, it's noodles, so you got to think it's the same as ramen in in some sort of weird fashion, some sort of way, but. I've had things spill over, I've had bowls, I've had noodles not cooked properly. And we're almost we're almost there. We're not really even boiling either. Which is why I thought, well, why don't I cook it for a little bit longer? But we're gonna stir it here. And and another thing is I love burning myself. I can't say that enough. I've I've, I've hurt myself and cut myself in many, many different ways, especially because of the things that I do with electronics and fans and that sort of thing. So five seconds, four, three, two, one. I apologize for uh, the wait, the delay. This is exciting. So we're gonna pull her out. We're gonna pull her out. I'm gonna pull her out, do a stir. Because why not? That's what we gotta do. We gotta do some stirring. Well, so far, so good. They're not really cook cooked. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in there for a couple extra minutes, actually. So stay tuned as I do that. So I'm gonna pause the video for a few minutes. And I'm gonna cook it for another maybe four or five minutes instead of another two minutes. So stay with me, you guys. I'll be right back. Hey guys, I am back, and I am almost done cooking this. We're looking solid. We're kind of boiling over a little bit. I know I probably put a little bit too much water in there, but we're about a minute. Man, a minute left, you know, and, and again, the fact of each microwave has a different different wattage depends, you know, so you got to cook it for longer. So it's, it's, it's also some math involved in it, but, you know, I just kind of go with the flow if I'm being completely honest with y'all. I kind of made a mess. I don't want to. I don't want anybody to come in and uh, be mad that I made a mess. So we're gonna clean up real quick. About 45 seconds left. My bowls could be all nice and wet. So, but so far this is this is looking nice. This is looking nice. I mean, considering the fact that uh, you know of how you know how long it really takes to cook, you know. Five, you know, ten minutes versus twenty in reality. If you think about it, because even even in my opinion, I don't think it's gonna take a. It's it's, it's gonna take that short of a time to actually really cook the macaroni. Of course, if you get the family size boxes, you know, you gotta think you gotta cook it for double. So. You know, there's 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 lots of lots of different things that are, and and uh, there's lots of things that you got to think about in terms of cooking. So there goes our timer. I'm gonna see if we have we're we're cooked thoroughly. It looks like we are. Where's the the where's the napkins at so I can clean up my mess? Always make sure you clean up after yourself, especially if it's a. Uh, If you're like me and you're just borrowing something or just using something that's not yours, I can't say that enough. If I wouldn't want somebody messing up my microwave. All right, so I'm gonna pour this out. It looks like we're pretty much ready. We're kind of squishy, so squishy goes a long way. That's for sure. Squishy goes a long way. It looks like it, I mean. Let's see if I can show you guys. So it looks like it looks like it cooked. Some of it looks like it's kind of stick stick together a little bit, but that's fine. We're gonna pour our water out, and uh, we're gonna drain our water out, and uh, hopefully uh, try some cooked macaroni. So this is exciting for me. So if you guys like these videos and want to see me try something new that's kind of wicked and kind of weird, go ahead, 
hit me up and uh, let me know because I told you guys I don't mind the suggestion video someone wanted me to do a review on Kraft Mac and Cheese and again that will be that'll, that'll come up real soon so stay tuned for that I'll pause the video one more time go pour this out over over here in the sink and uh, we'll, we'll get ready to do some taste testing thank you guys so much for uh, tuning in Hey guys, back again after doing some mixing. I actually have a little bit more room if I uh, actually have a little bit more room if I keep the microwave open. So we'll do that for now. As I almost spill my bowl that I just made, I'm gonna pour our sauce in there, our cheese. You know, and, and one, that's one thing that I do prefer. I actually prefer the the sauce cheese besides the powder. But anyhow, it's no big deal. So we're gonna go right in and we're gonna stir, stir we're gonna stir her nice up and all nice and pretty. We're actually looking really solid actually. We're looking really nice. I kind of like how this is coming out. Of course as long as I don't get the you know the cheese in the corners and all that good stuff because you know why not? I didn't pour all the water out. I actually got rid of a couple different noodles. If I'm being honest with you, not really happy about that. I don't like I don't like losing food when I buy food, you know what I mean? It's just it's upsetting. But there's our bowl. Let me see. see. Oh, there you go. You guys can see. Look look at our bowl. Oh, it looks like that this actually worked. I'm actually kind of surprised. I like what it's made out of. It's it's made out of some uh, well, some some sort of poly plastic, I'm sure. And I like that the handles the handles aren't hot. I like that the handles aren't hot. The bowl itself is hot, of course, because you know we we were cooking in it. But you know, I mean, this 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 changes everything. I mean, for me, because instead of using a pot and pan and waiting, I can just make a quick meal. You know, throw some throw some meat in it. I mean, I can you know I can put anything in mac and cheese. If you guys have any any suggestions on different kinds of uh, mixtures of food, let me know that down below because I'm willing to try that as well. Well, let's go ahead and take our first bite. As long as we don't burn ourselves, it actually looks good. I I haven't tried the store. I haven't tried my store brand mac and cheese, so this should be interesting. Give it a couple blows. It was hot. Not not bad though actually. I not bad. I'm still not sure about the taste of this brand of, of, of my store brand mac and cheese. I'm not really sure of the taste. I don't really like it. But it's still a quick meal for your belly. I mean, literally a quick meal. Um, shout out to the people that made this bowl. Not sponsored, but this this is actually really cool. I mean, it has been cooked. It has been cooked to perfection. I'm going to go sit down and eat this one. And uh, try to get a Kraft mac and cheese review for you guys up and running but that that's really cool again really nice it's always a it's always cool to uh, try out new things because that's that's really that's really wild when I that's, that's gonna change my life in terms of making food so I mean of course that's really cool um, I got this at the dollar store if you guys want to try to find it you can probably find it online I'll show you guys the, uh, there's the tag. If you guys want to look it up, I definitely recommend this. It's actually really cool. It's a rapid mac and cheese cooler. You bet you can find it on eBay. Probably find it on eBay. Probably find it on uh, Amazon. But, yeah, I, I, I definitely recommend this. This is, that's, that's really cool, and I'm going to enjoy this. So, if you guys enjoyed and you guys liked the video, you liked me, like all the fan stuff, ceiling fans back there, all that good stuff. If you guys like me, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, I ask you guys to give me a like rating on the video, and uh, watch any other cool video that you guys might want to that you guys might want to see in the uh, 
my playlist. Um, but yeah, you guys, you guys are what makes this channel this channel. You know, I mean, you guys give me encouragement and gives me, give me you know positivity, and that just makes me want to keep doing this. Again, I, I mean, one day I might be able to make a little money off of this channel and, and make a little career out of this, but we'll see what happens in the future. I like what I'm doing now, and uh, we'll see how long I do it. I appreciate you guys. Again, give me a like, Ray, and I appreciate y'all. I really do. Comment down below any video suggestions, anything that I could try, anything that you guys want to see me try or taste test or review or any game suggestions. I'm still going to do... Uh, uh, game reviews. I'm going to give my opinion on those as well. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments and subscribe if you guys are new around here. I can't say that enough. I mean, subscribe, it goes a long way. And um, lots more cool things in the future. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. And as always, I will see you in the next episode. Bye, y'all. I'll see y'all later.